with no accomplice or base of operations to investigate, we turned to Red Hood's known target, Black Mask. We staked out his latest drop of traffic weapons, hoping for interference. We weren't disappointed. ability to evade us was irritating, but educational. Advanced parkour, counterattacking on the run, and the skill to escape my grapnel lines. Nobody cuts my grapnel lines. Frustration made me stupid and careless. I dropped right into another trap. Another inferno. Another escape. Because of my choice, my mistake, Dick was injured. I couldn't even look him in the eye. Going forward, I had to work alone. I needed to finish this alone to avoid repeating mistakes. And because this was getting personal. Knowledge of my tactics, my history, escaping with those damned explosions, and evidence that he even knew my name. It all pointed to an impossible conclusion. But if I've learned anything over the years, it's that the impossible is just the unthinkable lying in wait. I needed to find him again, but I wasn't the only one hunting the Red Hood. To flush him out, Black Mask declared all-out war against Red Hood's organizations. Gotham City was caught in the crossfire. When I finally caught up to him, he was barely surviving an ambush. Outnumbered four to one by high-tech assassins. I balanced the scales to protect them and to test him. His maneuvers, his timing, our coordination, as familiar as Jason's when he fought at my side as Robin. Then he crossed the line. Just to make a damn point, he was cleaning up Gotham by controlling it with deadly force because my way didn't work. A familiar argument. That was the moment I knew. Jason, the son I had lost, had returned. 